Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rory and today I wanted to talk to you about a new camera cage that I've picked up for the Lumix Panasonic S5 and it's this one here. Uh, it's made by a Chinese company called Nitzi. Now before I get into the review I will let you know uh, full disclosure Nitzi reached out um, they've given me this camera cage for free uh, to review. They sent me the cage and they also sent me a top handle to review. Um, that being said, I've told them very clearly that I won't necessarily give them a good review just because they've done that. They've asked me to film an unbiased review to pop up on YouTube. So basically I wanted to uh, have something to withstand the rigors of professional use, but I also wanted to put it up against uh, the small rig cage, which I have had for about six months now and I've reviewed in another video as well. So um, after you've watched this review, if you want to pick up either of these cages or any of the gear that I use, you'll be able to find them in the links below. So definitely check those out. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, this won't be a long review, but um, I'll just go over the main points that, I like to, uh, that I'd like to address. So the first of all is the build quality. Um, the build quality of this cage is great. It's made of a really, like, a really nice black um, aluminium alloy type material. I'm not entirely sure what it's made of, but it feels very similar to the small rig cage. I have no qualms putting my camera in this uh, and yeah, I know that if I dropped it, it would take the hit fine. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk to you about is the actual aesthetics of the cage. Now, to me, um, the, the aesthetics don't matter as much as the functionality. The small rig cage in my mind does look nicer with the nice sleek design uh, on the front of it. Both of them have like a really nice molded hand grip, which makes holding it for long periods of time really, really nice. But um, yeah, very, very minor thing that the small rig cage looks slightly better, but to me that doesn't really matter to be fair. Um, like I just mentioned about the, uh, the design of the grip here, the next thing I'll talk about is the ergonomics. Now both these cages are very comfortable to use, um, mainly because of the, of the molded hand grip on the side here. When you're holding a camera for a long period of time like this, if it's sharp, like on the edge of the, on this side here, which the GH5 cage is, it can be very uncomfortable to hold after a long period of time. Now, uh, I recently used this camera on a 16 hour wedding day where I was hand holding it for almost the entire day and it was fine. I think my arms erect by the end of it, but that wasn't to do with the cage. The cage performed really well. Um, one thing that I do prefer for this cage over the ergonomics of the small rig cage is uh, the top dial here. On the small rig cage, th this top bar sits quite a lot closer to this top dial and it makes changing the settings a lot harder. So um, with this cage, you can access this top dial really easily. It's really easy to change the settings. You can flick it on and off really easily. There's no dramas accessing the these top parts of the camera here. Yeah, so overall, it's really well designed ergonomically. It's, it's easy to hold for a long period of time. Um, and yeah, there, there's obviously a lot of thought that's gone into how to make this a lot more ergonomic. Now, um, I also want to talk about how the camera actually mounts to the cage. Uh, in the Nitsi cage, you've just got your standard mounting point through the bottom. Um, this is not as good as in the small rig cage, which also has a mounting point through this eyelet here, which prevents the camera from twisting within the cage. I haven't had any issues with this camera twisting within the cage yet. Um, I locked it down fairly tight, but I know that that has been an issue with me with other cages in the past. So um, it would be really nice if in a future iteration they could include like a screw point here where you could mount uh, a tiny little screw through the eyelet there and it would just stop the, ca the camera from twisting in the cage and getting loose over time. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is the mounting points all over the cage. So um, both the small rig cage and the Nitsi cage have mounts all over the sides, the top, the bottom, um, but there are different number of them. And this is where the Nitsi cage goes really well. So starting on the grip side of the camera, the Nitsi cage actually has four quarter 20 mounts and an airy mount, whereas the small rig cage only has three of the quarter 20 mounts. Both have a strap mount on the top and the bottom. On the front of the cage, they've both got holes uh, to support a lens support. Uh, the Nitsi also has four quarter inch 20 holes at the top, um, which the small rig doesn't and both of them have another another mounting point down the side which I assume is for a rail for a follow focus or something similar. On the left hand side of the camera they've both got the standard NATO rail in order to attach a handle. Both have a mount for a HDMI clamp um, underneath the little doors on the side there. I haven't used the Nitsi one but uh, having a look at the website the design of it looks really good. 
The small rig one is quite bulky and it does get in the way of the screen a little bit, but it does work for me quite well. Uh, both of them have a single RE mount on this side and the Nipsey has five quarter 20 mounts versus three. On the top of each cage, they've both got an RE mount on the top there uh, with the locating pins. The Nipsey has seven quarter 20 mounts versus six on the small rig and both have a cold shoe mount. So while I'm talking about this cold shoe mount, I'll point out if either of the companies are listening that both of them are in a terrible spot. Um, in, my, in my video on the small rig cage, I pointed out that if you put a microphone here, it gets in the way of the shutter button. Um, exactly the same problem on this cage. So I won't be using that uh, cold shoe mount for anything, I wouldn't imagine. Um, I just really wish that they would have put it up on the side here, even on the side here, just somewhere close to the actual headphone jack, uh, sorry, the microphone jack, which is in here. It makes no sense to me to have the cold shoe mount over this side and have to stretch the wire right over the front of the eyepiece or anything to get it into here. It just, I don't know why they've done that at all. It makes zero sense. Um, underneath both the cameras they've got slightly different designs but there's tons of mounting options under there. You can easily access the battery and the SD card on both cages, no issues at all. Um, so just another thing to note, they did send me this uh, top handle with this cage, which isn't included in the package but you can buy it. Um, and honestly it's actually one of the best top handles that I've ever used. The, the way it's designed is really good, it's got mounting points all over it. Uh, on the top here, this cold shoe mount is actually not um, part of the handle. You can actually take it off and mount it anywhere you like on the handle, which I feel is really good because a lot of the handles, they've got it in one spot and it doesn't make a lot of sense if you're using your camera in a different sort of way. Um, so being able to move that is really nice for me. Um, the other thing I really like is this NATO mount on the bottom. Um, most of the time, these are part of one big aluminium construction, but this one, you can actually take it off and you can twist it the other way. So if you wanted to mount it onto the NATO rail on the side of the cage, you could definitely do that. Um, or you could like have it flip this way and have it on the top like normal. But yeah, it's, it's just a really nice design. Um, and it feels really nice in the hand. It's nice and light. It's really well balanced when it's connected to the cage. Uh, yeah, to the cage with the camera. So yeah, I feel like they've done a really, really good job with this handle. So if you're in the market for a top handle, definitely look at picking one of these up because yeah, it's not part of the cage, as I said, it comes separately, but I feel like they've done a really, really good job with this. And with the with the NATO lock, it, it works really well. So just another thing to note about this cage is that all around it, um, each part of the cage is actually held together with screws. It's not one large construction, um, which is fine. It doesn't affect the stability of the actual cage at all, but it does mean that you can take parts of the cage off. So if you just wanted to have an L bracket, Say you wanted to have the NATO mount down the side here and you wanted to have the base plate, you could just take this part and this part off and it would work perfectly fine. Um, I think that's a really, really good design feature. It, uh, it means you don't have to have it, it's a little bit more versatile. You can, you can uh, make the cage any way you want, which is, going to fit, which is going to be fit for your purpose. So I thought that was really smart of them to do that. Now, um, the last thing I want to talk to you about is the price of it. So uh, this is going directly from Small Rig and Nitsi's website. So the Nitsi cage comes in at $56.99 US, whereas the Small Rig cage comes in at $69. Given there's not a huge amount of difference between the two cages, in fact, if I was given them side by side, I'd actually pick this one because of the extra mounting points all over it. Um, I think the, the fact that this one is significantly cheaper than the Small Rig one represents excellent value. So. My personal opinion, if you're in the market for a cage for your Panasonic S5, or they do have cages for all, a lot of other cameras, so I would definitely check them out and I would uh, probably pick one of these up if I was gonna pick up another cage. So yeah guys, there you have it. That's my uh, quick review of the Nitsi cage for the Panasonic Lumix S5. I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I've got a few more videos for the Panasonic S5 coming up shortly and I'll hopefully be able to do a bit more traveling soon. Um, Although it has just hit winter here, it's uh, freezing outside and I am rugged up inside my office right now. So, but yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Um, have a good one and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.